Hello my friends and welcome to this tutorial and guide for the Vegas Sundown Tournament starting the Monday the 28th of May. I'm looking forward to this as we're going to play some new holes in this tournament. So it's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm going to play 9 holes of the Milano. So there will be 5 new holes and the old holes do have some tweaks on them. So check out here on the channel in the two different playlists called the Sundown, sorry, the Vegas Sundown uh, Tournament playlist, like for rookie and for pro and expert, for some specific guides. If you do want to get the text guides before everyone else, check out patreon.com slash golfclashtommy and the text guides will be out just in a couple of hours. So let's go. I always do this walkthrough uh, before a tournament starts to kind of explain to you how the tournament structure works in the game of Golf Clash. We do have three rounds. We do play a qualifying round, we do play an opening round, we do play a weekend round. Uh, at least we hope we will play all the rounds because that means that we will be able to get a prize chest. So uh, on Monday we will start with qualifier day number one. Uh, and 50% of the people in the bracket will go through to the next round, which is the opening round. If you don't uh, are able to qualify on qualifier day number one, you can try again on Tuesday for qualifier day number two. And if you don't qualify there, you can qualify day number three. If you don't qualify any of the three, uh, three days, then you won't go through to the opening round and therefore not be able to win any prize chests. Uh, as you can see here, qualifying round is played over 9 holes. Uh, opening round is played over 18 holes and weekend round is 18 holes. And then you maybe wonder, okay, 18 holes, that, that, does that mean that we have different holes for the front 9 than for the back 9? No. You play exactly the same holes you play for the front 9 as for the back 9. So you only combine them. And there is always, in the qualifying round, there is always 20 people in a bracket. Top 10 go through to the next round. In the opening round we do have 100 people in the bracket. 50 people go through to the next round. In the weekend round 50, there is 100 people in the bracket and 50. Sorry and top 3 will get a bronze, silver and gold banner. And everybody in the weekend round will be granted a prize chest. Scoring is based on shots taken. The fewer shots you complete your matches in, the higher you will rank. So, as you can see on the example, Tiffany here has played 9 games and has a minus 6 to go with. Seb here has played 9 games and has a minus 5 to go with. And that means that Tiffany will be the, on the first place position as she has a better score than Seb. Shootouts in the tournament do not count towards the score. You may be seeing me forfeit some of the shootouts while I'm playing in the tournament and therefore just to save time and also to be focusing on the real uh, win and the real holes on the regular uh, on the regular holes. So and therefore uh, it's good that the shootouts does not count as it doesn't really matter. The only thing in, that matters is the coins. So if you do need coins and also for the experience, if you want to play all the shootouts, then that is totally up to you. Prices, win prices of chests, coins and balls. Prices are awarded to players who reach the weekend round. Enter a higher level to win the biggest prices. So, okay. Uh, the prices is very very good here in the, this free tournament play and you will be able to boost your bankroll and also your account a lot if you play a good tournament. Uh, there is four different levels, there is Rookie, Pro, Expert and Masters and that the, the division you can play in determines of the weekly league you're actually playing in. So if you're playing in a weekly league that has a Rookie banner uh, then you will be able to play in Rookie. If you have a Pro Banner, you will be able to play in Pro or in Rookie. And if you have an X Banner, you will be able to play in Expert, Pro or Rookie. Uh, and if you have a Master's Banner, you will be able to play in All. And that means that you can choose between All. You are not being able to play in all of them. That is important to have in mind. So, 
Here you can see the prices. We start off with the rookie division. We do have an entry fee here of 10,000 coins. Fee per game is 1,000. Winnings per game is 2,000. And here you will be able to see, as you can see there, the small type, uh, the small text. Prices are awarded to players who reach the weekend round. So the first place position is really good here in rookie. You do get some kingmakers, you do get some titans, and also a lot of cards. And especially when you play in the lowest level, you most of all do want to have some coins to build your bankroll. Uh, so you don't struggle with that in the upcoming tour play. As you can see here, the prices of course gets worse the, uh, the longer down on the list you actually place yourself. But everybody that comes to the weekend round, which is top 100, will be able to, uh, will be able to uh, win a price chest. So we go over to Pro. There you do have an entry fee of uh, 100,000, uh, fee per game is 10,000, winnings per game is 20,000. As you can see here down below, the prices are uh, better as we come up one uh, division. So it's, and here is the same, the prices get worse uh, the longer down on the list that you uh, place yourself, but it's still the top 100 that do get a price chest. Go up to Masters, there we do have an entry fee of 1 million and fee per game is 100,000, winnings per game is 200,000. Here you will be able to see an absolute amazing first place chest with 200 Kingmakers, 100 Titan and a lot of cards and also a lot of coins. And this division and that is expert, it's um, very crowded with a lot of good people and that may not have been taking the step up to Masters uh, and also want to boost their club cars and stuff like that so you will be able to see some really crazy and some good scores in expert uh, again everybody in the bracket will be re receiving some kind of price chest masters last but not least uh, entry fee 10 million fee per game is 1 million winnings per game is 2 million here you will be able to win a lot of cards a lot of coins and of also the berserker ball and i know if you don't have any berserker ball then you will be needing them sometimes as you do want to play with them when it comes to tailwind i think that it's important to have a ball that actually can reach far as you do have some crazy amount of power when it comes to that type of ball so again masters everybody in the in the weekend round will be rewarded with a price chest of course so we are going to go through something that it's called a tiebreaker and the tiebreakers can be kind of hard to understand sometimes but it uh, but it's there to decide which one will be on top if you do have the same combined score so we're going to talk and i'm uh, going to give you a couple of scenarios here so we're going to go with tournaments there we have what happens if I have the same score as someone else in the tournament? So, if two or more players have the same score, then the following tiebreak rules are applied. The qualifying round do have two rules. Rule number one, number of completed tournament matches. The more matches completed during qualification, the better. So, we do play as top tops nine games in the qualifying round. So, nine games. If I complete nine games, my opponent may have a better score than I, but, uh, sorry, may have the same score as I, but has played eight games then i will be on top and my opponent will be second as i've completed more games than my opponent rule number two number of impressive scores we will compare number of albatrosses then eagles then birdies and then pars that each player scored in the qualification round and that means that if we do have played nine games both of us we do end up with a minus nine then we first uh, check how many albatrosses do i have then my opponent if that is still the same, then go to Eagles. If that is still the same, then go to Birds. If that is still the same, then go to Pars. And if that is still the same after that, then we will share the position. Which means that uh, there can be people that do share a position in the qualifying round and also in the other rounds. And therefore can go through to the next round, even if you place yourself as 11th in the bracket. Opening round and do have four rules. So rule number one qualifying round scores will be compared lower the better So if I play a minus 20 in my opening round my opponent play a minus 20 Then we check the qualifying round and I play a minus 10 and my opponent play a minus 9 That means that I have a better qualifying round score than my opponent which means that rule number one applies and I will be on top of the bracket if that is still the same, uh, if the qualifying round is the same, then we we'll go through to rule number two, 
number of completed tournament matches. The more matches completed during the tournament, the better. And that worked exactly as it works as a qualifying round. So if we both have played 18 holes uh, in the opening round, then we are good. Rule number three, number of impressive scores when it comes to the opening round. So we check albatrosses, then eagles, then birdies, then pars. And if that is still the same, go to rule number four and that we check, check in the qualifying round after albatrosses, eagles, then birdies, and then pars. And if we're still tied after that, we will share the position and both of us will and go through to the next round if we put ourselves in the top 50. Otherwise, we will both be out. So, we come to the weekend round. We do have six rules. Basically works the same. But first, we check out rule number one. Opening round scores will be compared lower the better. So, if I do have minus 25 in my weekend round, I do play a minus 20 in my opening round. My opponent played a minus 25 in the weekend round, plays a minus 19 in the opening round, then I will be on top because I do have a better opening round score. Rule number two, qualifying round scores will be compared. So, that means that if we do have the same score in weekend round, opening round, but I have a better score in my qualifying round, then I will be on top of the bracket. If that will still be the same, go over to complete the tournament matches and that rule you already know how that works. And then we have rule number four, number five and number six. And all of them are number of impressive scores where we first check the weekend round, then we check the opening round and then last but not least we check the qualifying round. And if we are still tied after all these six rules, then we will share the position and we will receive the same prize chest. That is important to have in mind. So, my friends, this is a tournament that is going uh, that is going to be able to practice on tour number four and number tour number four and tour number nine, the six star hotel. So you will be able to see pro and expert tour number nine and tour number four for rookie. And it's the Milano holes, and you will be able to find all the new holes on both uh, tours, not just on the pro tour. So you will be able to see them here on Tour 4 as well. Check out the channel during the weekend also during the tournament for more content. And if you do have any type of questions, please pick up in the comment section below. And I will be happy to answer you there. So in the meantime, I will wish you the best of luck in the Vegas Sundown Tournament.